Hi guys, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. This is Tom Horton speaking. A uh, little quick uh, theatre organ hints and tips video today. And uh, here I am at the console of a Christie theatre organ. This one has three manuals, two rows of stops, and is an absolutely beautiful instrument. And it lives in a modern church building in Suffolk. And this instrument belongs to the Ipswich Light Organ Music Society. And I'm just about to perform a concert on this organ today, but I thought I'd come to you just for a few minutes and explain something on theatre organs that often gets asked about. And this, these uh, stops here. This one's labelled Second Touch. Now, Second Touch is not unique to theatre organs. There were a, um, a couple of church organs and cathedral organs over the years that had this thing called Second Touch. And what it basically is, is where you can bring in the stops the, the pipes that are labelled on these stop or sound effects, you can bring them in on the accompaniment keyboard by pushing certain keys or all the keys a little bit harder. Now let me show you what I mean. Here is the accompaniment stops. We've got tibia, we've got uh, clarinet and so on. So I'm just going to put down a little gentle mix here of stops and I'll just play a few chords. Now if you watch very carefully, if I push this key a bit harder, look, you see there it drops a little further, and that goes into a second set of key contacts. And what that does is when you push a bit harder, you bring in the connections that control these stops. So I'm gonna put on the trumpet rank. Now this is under second touch. Second touch is often found on a little set of stops on the back rail on most Wurlitzers and Comptons and things. And it will always be labeled a compliment, right there, you can see that there, a compliment, second touch. And even the, the stop itself says second. So back to our chord, so I can put in a little, um, a little brass accent. So watch what happens there when I push the chord a bit harder. What a great effect. It's really nice if you're doing brass accents in music. And it only happens when you push the keys, look. So you can also use it to play counter melodies. What a great effect there. If you've got a softer registration on, let's say we've got the strings of the flute, I can bring in diapasons and tibias. Those sound quite nice. You hear it right there. What a great system and virtually all cinema organs have some second touch. Sometimes we have second touch on the upper keyboard, but you do find them a lot on the lower. A really nice one I tend to use is when I'm finishing with a ballad, I'll use the, the chimes. And what that does, you have to be quite careful with this one, play your ballad finishing off. And push one of the keys harder. And you can hear it brings in the chimes right at the end. Incidentally, the pipes of this organ are up in the roof of the church. Finally, we've got a crash cymbal. Watch that there. And you can bring the crash cymbal in. So there we go. So if you ever get a chance to play a theatre organ and you're wanting to work on counter melodies in the, in the left hand, make them more interesting by adding some stops for second touch. So some great effects there from Theatre Organ Second Touch. Thanks everyone for watching this quick video. Thanks for your company. I'm Miss Dash now. I've got to play my concert for the Ipswich Light Organ Music Society on this wonderful Christie organ. But thanks ever so much for watching another video here on Keyboard Skills Pro.